So in the previous video we saw how to generate self-signed certificates and in this video we're going to see how to use it in Nginx web server and have a totally secured proxy to our backend services. So stick with me to find out more about this. What's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video, we're going to see how to use the self-signed generated SSL certificates in Nginx web server and have a fully secured proxy to our backend server, which in this case is going to be an echo server, which will actually echo whatever request that it receives. And using this way, we can secure our internal connections between our services so without any delay let's get down to work so if i hit ls over here as you can see i've got a docker compose file a conf.d directory and a search directory which are going to one hold the certificates and one hold the nginx configuration files so if i first nano the docker compose file over here i have two services one being the echo server from a random image that I found in the Docker Hub, which will be actually exposed on port 8080. So we'll be seeing that this is not a SSL enabled service. And next we have the Nginx proxy service, which is using the Nginx 1.18.0 version. The restart policy is also set to always and the ports that are mapped are the 80 and 443 which one being the http port and the other being the https port so actually by these ports i'll be able to access the nginx service running inside the docker network so the volumes that are mounted to the nginx proxy service is the conf.d directory that is exactly located in the same directory that the docker compose file exists and the search directory which is also located in the exact same directory so i'll hit ctrl x to exit the docker compose file if i go ahead and nano the conf.d echo.conf file in here as you can see i have a upstream service which is pointing to the echo server with the AT port, which is the HTTP port. So because both these containers will be created using the same Docker Compose file, their network will be shared among them. And as a result, they'll be actually able to call themselves with their service names. So I've got a server block over here listening on port 80. And the thing that it does is just simply redirecting the same URL with the HTTPS port. So again, I have another server port over here, which is this time listening on port 443 with the SSL enabled. So the slash location will be a proxy pass to the upstream service that is defined over here and some other configuration, which will set the header to the dollar host. So actually these are necessary for proxying to work correctly. And over here, as you can see, I've got the SSL certification part, which one pointing to the slash etc certs, the cert file, and the other SSL certificate key is pointing to the dot key file. So we don't have these files and we'll be generating these files in a moment using the self-signed SSL certification generator file. So I'll hit Control X to get out of the nano. I'll hit LS. I'll move to the search directory. I'll hit LS. I have the exact same bash script, which will actually generate self-signed SSL certification. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll put the link down below so you'll get all the information about this bash script. So the command that I'll use, I'll say bash 
the name of the bash script and at the end I'll pass the IP address of my server that the nginx instance will be running on and I'll use the browser to access to it so I'll pass in my IP address the certificate files are generated if I hit ls you can see that the .cert file and .key file are successfully generated which are the files that are actually being pointed to in the nginx configuration file so so with my cert files generated i'll hit cd dot dot to get a directory back if i go back to the docker compose file again we have the dot slash certs which holds the certification files to the etc certs inside the nginx container and in the nginx configuration file which is the proxy to the upstream echo server the certification files are exactly pointing to the same exact files the command that i'll use is say docker compose up dash d which will create a network and my two containers also sharing the network between these two containers so if i hit docker compose ps by now their status is running and you can see the ports that are mapped for the echo server port 8080 in my machine is pointing to the 80 inside the container and port 80 and 443 is pointing to the relevant ports inside the container for the nginx proxy so if i go to the browser on the port 8080 with the exact ip of my server i should be able to access the echo server without any ssl enabled because i am making the requests directly to the echo server so as you can see this is served in http mode and there is no https enabled for this service again if i go to the port 80 as you can see it auto redirects me to the https and as you can see because my certification files are self-signed the browser will throw an error saying that the cert authority invalid so if i hit the advanced button over here and hit the proceed button it will ignore the self-signed error and return the proxy server's response so as you can see I get the exact same result but this time through the nginx and ssl certs enabled also like for example if i pass in some query parameters as you can see the echo server is working correctly and also if i pass in some paths like i'll, I'll say test as you can see the test pass is exactly proxy to the echo server that is behind the nginx web server so with that that's all for this video i hope you found the content useful and actually this can come useful securing the connections between the internal service calls like for example in a microservices architecture as the backends want to communicate with each other they can communicate through nginx and only the nginx web server will use the network that the backends are in and the backends won't actually see each other directly and they'll communicate through the nginx and their connections will be totally secure so i'll put all the files and configurations in my github repository which i'll put the link down below so you'll be able to access them easily if you find the content interesting just don't forget to give a visit to my other videos on my channel where i've got cool playlists and cool videos about cool technologies and also don't forget to like and subscribe which will help grow the channel and with that i hope to see you in the next videos